Okay, teachers, so in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you guys some advanced features um, in Canvas modules and how to restrict um, which assignments kids can see and which the ones they cannot see until they progress. So in my course, um, let me just go into student view real quick. In my course, you'll see this is my homepage. Um, kids can either access, access modules here or they can click on this. This will take them to the module that we're working on. Now, what you'll notice is um, students can click on practice one and it'll open the assignment. So just as an aside, all of my assignments look like this. Um, so I have made a similar template for all of my assignments so that students are used to seeing um, the exact same format when they click into different things. Okay, so what you'll notice is from the module view, Kids, kids can access practice number one, but they cannot click on this. They cannot click on this. So everything in the module is not clickable except for this one. Okay. Now, when a student comes in here and does practice one and finishes it and submits it, what that's going to do is it's going to open up practice two for them. <clears throat> After they're done with practice two and they submit it, it'll open up the mastery check, three, so on and so forth. Okay. So let me show you how I do that. So under the edit tab in modules you will notice that you can add or subtract different um you can add requirements okay so let me actually do this in a module that's not already done this here um this is a good example so if i come here and i click on edit so i can add it let's say for example this module um, i needed students to do the first module before they got to this module you can add prerequisites. So in other words, you can say um, students need to finish all of the work in module one to be able to access this module right here, or they need to um, do all of the work in this module to open up this module. Okay, so that's going to say prerequisites for um, what they have to do before they get to this module. Now within the module, you can set requirements. So let's say, for example, you wanted students to complete all of the assignments and you wanted students to go through the requirements or the assignments in sequential order. Okay, so you wanted the students to do practice one or assignment one and two, then assignment two and then assignment three and so on and so forth. So the way you do that is you click these and you say, okay, I need them to do this assignment and I need them to contribute to that page before they go on to the next one. Okay, so once they click on this and they contribute to the page, it will open up the second assignment. Okay, so let's say, for example, um, this is my second assignment. I need them, I just want them to, this is just a page, I just want them to view this item. So they'll just click on this, they'll read through the information, they'll watch the video. As soon as they view the item, this item here, the assignment, it'll open up the third one. Okay, so you kind of get the idea here. Okay, this other option here, what it's going to have them do is there's a button on the top, I think it's a, actually it's the bottom right, they will click on the assignment and then when they're finished, they'll mark it as done. Okay, so let's go back up to the first one. And now this is makes a little bit more sense. So here's the module that my students are working on right now. So practice one, two, mastery check, and then they have three, four, five, six, and then seven. I put that of order intentionally. And then a mastery check, eight, nine, and then a mastery check. So here's my settings. So they need to do one and they need to submit the assignment before two will pop up. They need to submit this one. They need to do the mastery check. Oh, I'm glad I checked this because this is, should be seven. So in the mastery check, this is a quiz. They need to score at least seven points. So if they score six, it will not open up this practice. So they'll go through and do this over and over and over until they get seven. Then they need to do three before four and so on and so forth. Okay. On the second mastery check, they need seven. On the third mastery check, they need this. Okay, so once you set these requirements, and again, this is in, I want students to do this in sequential order, so meaning they have to do one before two, and so on and so forth, okay. Um, once you do that, you can always click on student view, and to check to see if it works, right, again, we can't click on these things, okay. I'll do another video some other time about how I build my mastery checks, my quizzes, um, because like you guys saw, they need to get at least seven points on these. So I don't want them taking the same quiz over and over, right? So I build these out of item banks. And so that quizzes are 
um, randomized. So they have, they pulled from different banks. Um, so what it means is that every time they take this quiz, they're going to see a different set of questions. So they can't just memorize the answers. Okay. Do you have any questions?